Hi, welcome to Land of Chemistry, a simple steps to organic chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn the IUPAC nomenclature of aldehydes. Aldehyde. The functional group of aldehyde is the functional group of aldehyde is C double bond O H. This is the functional group that is CHO we used to say. If it is CHO, the IUPAC name, okay, in the IUPAC name, the suffix will be, that is the ending word will be, the suffix will be AL, okay, AL. Come on, let's learn so many examples in aldehyde in detail manner. The first aldehyde is H C double bond O H. CH3, C double bond O, H. The next one is CH3, CH, CH3. This is a branched one, CHO. CH3, CH2, 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 CH2 CHO. First, let's give common name for these structures. This is formaldehyde. The common name for this structure is formaldehyde. And the common name for this structure is acetaldehyde. And this one here, branch is there. So, iso. Okay. Four carbons are there in the total. So, isobutyraldehyde is the common name for the third structure. And the fourth structure, the common name is valeraldehyde. The common name is valeraldehyde. Come on, let's learn the IUPAC name for these structures. In the IUPAC name, first we need to count the carbon atom. Here, how many carbons are there? Only one carbon is there. So, methane. Okay. Methane. Instead of this E, we should remove that E. And here, we should identify the functional group. What functional group is present here? CHO. Then it is aldehyde. If aldehyde is a functional group, what will be the suffix? Al. A-L-L. -L. So, the IUPAC name of formaldehyde is methanol. Okay. In the same way, the second one, one, two, two carbons are there. So, ethane, okay, instead of E, we should add AL because the functional group present here is aldehyde. So, AL. Ethanol is the IUPAC name of acetaldehyde. And this one, here we need to select the longest chain, one, two, three, okay. In the second carbon, methyl group is attached. So, we need to name the guest first. Here, methyl is the guest which is attached to the side chain. So, 2 methyl to the second carbon, the methyl group is attached. So, 2 methyl in the straight chain, 3 carbons are there. So, propane, propane instead of E, we should add AL. Why? Here, CHO aldehyde is a functional group. So, AL. 2 methyl propanol is the IUPAC name of isobutyraldehyde. Let's come to the fourth structure. Let's give the number here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Totally 5 carbons are there. So, pentane. Instead of E, the functional group present here is CHO. That is aldehyde. So, we need to add AL. Pentanol is the IUPAC name of valeraldehyde. Okay. Come on. Let's learn some more structures. Next, CH2 double bond. CH single bond CHO. The next one is CH3 single bond CH double bond CH CHO. Then CH2OH CHOH CHO. CH3, CH, O, CH3, CHO. 
come on let's give the common name for these structures first the common name for this structure is acrolein what is this acrolein this is the common name for this structure that is vinyl aldehyde and the common name for the second one here ch3 single bond ch double bond ch single bond cho the common name for this compound is crotonaldehyde crotonaldehyde okay and the common name for this compound is this is prepared from glycerol so it is known as glyceraldehyde and the common name for this compound is here this is alpha carbon because the functional group is attached here in the alpha carbon here methoxy is attached so alpha methoxy propionaldehyde three carbons are there so propionaldehyde okay come on let's write the iupac name for these structures here 1 2 three carbons are there so prop okay to the second carbon double bond is present so two in and here to the first carbon that is the first carbon is aldehyde so al so the iupac name of acrolein acrolein is prop two in al come on let's come to the second structure count the number of carbon atoms present here one two three and four so four carbons so the prefix will be but okay to the second carbon double bond is present so two in al so but two in al is the iupac name of crotonaldehyde come on let's come to the third one the glyceraldehyde here this is the first carbon second carbon and this is third carbon to the second carbon and third carbon two oh group that is in each carbon one oh groups are attached so two comma three dihydroxy dihydroxy this is three carbon so prop propane instead of e the aldehyde is present here so al so the iupac name of glyceraldehyde is 2 comma 3 dihydroxy propanol now the fourth one here count the number of carbon atoms present 1 2 3 to the second carbon methoxy is attached so 2 methoxy in the straight chain propane 3 carbons so instead of e al because of aldehyde so the iupac name of alpha methoxy propane aldehyde is 2 methoxy propanol come on let's learn some more structures now we are going to learn aromatic aldehyde that is benzene ring this is benzene ring to the benzene ring CHO will be attached. We shall write this compound in this way also C6H5CHO. And the next one is to the benzene ring, 2CHO will be attached. Okay. To the benzene ring here. OH in the ortho position CHO. The next one is here CHO in the meta position bromine is attached. The last one is C6H5 that is benzene ring CH double bond CH single bond CHO. Come on, let's give the common name for these structures first. What is this? This is known as benzaldehyde. The common name for the first compound is benzaldehyde. Okay. Here, this is prepared from talic acid. In the adjacent position, the next position, CHO, and the, into the ortho position, one more CHO. If it is present like this, it is known as thalaldehyde. Thalaldehyde is the common name for this structure. The common name for the third one, if OH and CHO are present in the ortho position in the benzene ring, this is known as salicylaldehyde. Or else orthohydroxy benzaldehyde. The fourth one, 
to the aldehyde group the bromine is present in the meta position so it is known as meta bromo benzaldehyde the last one the name of this compound is cinnamaldehyde okay come on let's give the iupac name for these structures this is phenyl okay in methanol that is hcho this is known as methanol that is formaldehyde here instead of this hydrogen this phenyl group is attached here so it is known as phenyl methanol the IUPAC name of benzaldehyde is known as phenyl methanol. The second one, this is benzene ring. To the benzene ring, two aldehyde groups are attached. So it is known as benzene 1, 2 dicarbaldehyde. Okay, benzene 1, 2 dicarbaldehyde because two aldehyde groups are attached. So we are mentioning the name dicarbaldehyde and this one here this is the first carbon and this is second carbon to the second carbon hydroxy is attached. So two hydroxy benzaldehyde. So the IUPAC name of salicylaldehyde is two hydroxy benzaldehyde. Come on let's come to the fourth one. This is first carbon. This is second carbon. This is third carbon. In the third carbon, the bromine is attached. So, 3-bromo-benzaldehyde. Okay. The IUPAC name of beta-bromo-benzaldehyde is 3-bromo-benzaldehyde. Just we are changing the number. Instead of meta, we are writing here 3. The final one. The final structure. Come on. This is the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. To the third carbon, phenyl group is attached. So, 3-phenyl and 3 carbons are present there so prop to the second carbon double bond is present so 2-in al this is aldehyde so we are writing al this is the IUPAC name of cinnamaldehyde that is 3-phenyl prop 2-in al dear students if you like the video kindly share it with your friends it will be helpful for them also if you practice this in a correct way, it will be very helpful for your examinations. Thank you.